Hey, my beautiful tribe. Welcome and welcome in. Hi, Virgo. Thank you guys for your love and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this. Welcome to your quick read for this evening. It's your girl, Empress Neek, and I am dropping in to give you some love, light, spiritual guidance on your path. Hopefully, this message is helpful and it gives you the clarity that you need about your situation. This is going to be about you and your person, whoever you have on your mind and who may be thinking about you. Um, right now, Virgo, I did do your pre-shuffle, my loves. This is going to resonate with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in North Node, all Virgo placements, okay? So, um, and you don't have to be um, a Virgo, but like I said, it's all Virgo placements. So if you have Virgo in your chart somewhere, most likely um, you'll be able to resonate with something from this video. Um, let's go ahead and tap into your pre-shuffle energy. Um, intuitively, I was about to give you the message that I got for you. And thank you guys for liking this video. Thank you for sharing and subscribing, y'all. Um, so... Time, um, time apart, support, release, and acceptance are the cards that came out for you um, for your pre-shuffle. Intuitively, what I was getting is somebody who is in their head about this situation between you and them. I feel like somebody has been thinking about you, but they have been trying to fight these feelings. Um, it's somebody who didn't expect for it to be so difficult to let you go. Now, at one time, there could have definitely been some type of love or strong connection. I did see Twin Flame, um, the Twin Flame card in this deck when I was pulling your pre-shuffle. I was drawn to use this deck um, for more information. That's what I got. Use this deck to give them more information, all right, about whatever this situation is. So, Virgo, what I'm getting intuitively for you on your side is I feel like after some time apart, you really, really got a lot of clarity about this situation and you began to see some things or notice some things about this cycle that you didn't notice before. Um, at this time, if you're thinking about this person or you feel the urge to reach out or call them or Anything that you've been thinking about um, is triggering you. Um, the cards are telling you to lean on your inner circle for support. Even if you talk down in the comments to your fellow Virgos or to myself, um, I will get a chance to read your message and respond to you. Sometimes if I'm too busy, your fellow Virgos do respond. My members sometimes do respond, but you definitely have Virgos, your family members that love you and care for you. Um, I have a very caring and loving comment section, very respectful, all right, and they definitely are we are all on one accord over here. We all want to see each other grow and prosper and succeed and be able to heal, all right? So if you're feeling that way, you're being told to lean on your inner circle at this time because it's not always easy to process these feelings. It's definitely not easy when you look back over a relationship and God's giving you this bird's eye view of everything that went on and you see yourself. And not only do you see yourself, you see yourself sometime at your weakest, all right, and that could be very triggering. It could be very painful. It could make you want to reach out to the person and say some things and all of those things. So just do your best to stay grounded. Do your best to stay um, emotionally in control and lean on someone that you know cares for you and loves you, okay? Um, and they'll speak to your situation. They'll speak into your heart and they'll give you the energy that you need to be able to pull through, okay? Um, release. Radical acceptance helped you surrender it helped you let go i feel like you definitely accepted you have two cards talking about acceptance here so i feel like what you accepted was the things that you couldn't change you also accepted that sometimes things just don't work out and when they don't work out again it's a blessing all right from the divine allowing you to move forward and open up a brand new door it's a blessing when you don't get stuck in a cycle so long you really fully lose yourself some people are struggling to get themselves back to this day because they continuously ignored the signs. So be grateful for the grace that God gives you to be able to move through this situation, pick up the pieces and start fresh, okay? But acceptance, I feel like a lot of you guys, when you accept it, the moment you accepted this situation for what it really is, and that's just something that you are supposed to learn from, something that was in your life for a season and you're figuring out the reason, when you started accepting the fact that this wasn't meant to last forever, that's when you really started being able to release this situation. That's when you really started to heal. For some of you guys, you're trying to figure out how to get there and time apart 
from this person that you are in this relationship with will definitely bring you clarity. All right. So that's what I'm getting for you. I'm getting that. And I'm getting that somebody is realizing that it wasn't as easy to release you as they thought. You're not the only one that had to really do some work to release this person. This person also had to find a way to release you. And they thought that they could just go and replace you. But it's not easy to replace your love, honey. And they learned the hard way. Somebody didn't realize that it was going to take so much out of them to be able to let you go. So let's go ahead and tap into this energy, Virgo, and see what else it is that Spirit wants to show you about this relationship or this situation. Um, this is something that must have been on your mind or either you're on their mind, but this message is going to help you. It's going to help you. Either it's going to highlight your growth in this situation, or it's going to give you the answers and the clarity you need to be able to fully move on and let go. So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Gods, thank you so much for giving me clear and concise messages for the Virgo. We appreciate you being the head of this reading, being our friend in a time of need, light in the time of darkness, and blocking and binding all negative energy, anything coming up against your will for our lives, anything coming up against our success, our growth, our accomplishments, our financial abundance. We ask that you banish and bind that energy. Thank you. We count it done. Give us victory in every situation. Amen. If you want your extended prayer, it is on the video that I posted previously. Let's go ahead and dive in, Virgo. For Virgo. Hey, my lovey. Say y'all hey. <laughs> Sending you love. You know the vibes. Extreme. Harshness. Cutting off and erratic decisions. And I feel like somebody is thinking about this. Somebody is really thinking about this. Somebody is thinking about their choices now. They're realizing that whatever they did, it wasn't the smartest choice to do. Somebody could have cut somebody off prematurely. They didn't recognize what a gift you were. You could have cut somebody off and didn't think about how much they truly meant to you. You could realize that you fumbled a relationship. You could realize that you really let go of somebody good to stay with somebody karmic. And now you're looking back. All right. Because this could definitely be you, Virgo, that is in this energy of, of really getting clarity on what this situation was and i did see that soulmate energy so this could definitely be you i'm feeling like the majority it's somebody who wanted to release somebody and i feel like you've already accepted that something here wasn't meant to work out you're already accepting the fact that you learned a lot this relationship helped grow you it helped you progress it helped get you to the point where you are today and i feel like that helped you fully cut the cord and release um, I do have a cord cutting prayer if anybody needs that. Um, and I also have um, the directions to do it. Um, what you need to do to get yourself prepared to cut the cord at, along with the prayer that you need to say. You can email me for that at close to the number two, my destiny, the number one at gmail.com for that, okay? Um, if you want to book a reading to see more about your situation, book it at close to the number two, my destiny.com. All right. So we have escape, avoid, blocking, pushing away and hiding. So somebody is trying to avoid something here. Um, and I feel like they tried to avoid having to release you. Somebody has been trying to avoid going through the motions, feeling these feelings and really doing the inner work to let something go fully. Um, with this coffee date, somebody could want to talk. Somebody wants to meet up, plan, have a discussion. All right. Or somebody could be dating multiple people. All right. And maybe this is what you needed to take some time away from so you could really see what was happening in this relationship. Somebody could have definitely found that out that they were with a player. All right. Or Virgo, you could have been the player and somebody could have exposed you. All right. Whatever this is for you. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Y'all remember it's very general. So not every single thing is going to resonate with you. But it's important that you use your intuition to find out where you fit in the story. Okay mask all right so we have pretending putting up a front two-faced and not genuine and somebody here needed to accept that everything happens for a reason everything gets exposed to you in divine timing for a reason sometimes you're allowed to go through the motions and repeat these cycles and do the up and down in and out the merry-go-round the seesaw type of energy with a person just until you learn a specific lesson and sometimes it's to reveal more than more than just sometimes 
most likely is to reveal something about you, something that you may need to change, something that you may need to improve in, you know, in order for you to be able to stand in your energy, stand in your power and operating your full potential. All right. These lessons are to, to, to make you not to break you. If y'all can, y'all put that in the comments for me. These lessons are, it made me, it didn't break me. It's to make me not to break me. I want y'all to remember that because sometimes through all of the smoke, like you forget things, you forget who you are. Sometimes you forget your power and the things you're capable of y'all. And really sometimes you forget that you don't get more than you can bear. Right. And sometimes we create karma for ourselves unconsciously by ignoring signs, ignoring our intuition and feeling like we don't need that. We want this and we can make this happen and that happen when the whole time God is trying to show you, daughter, son, this is not for you. Go this way. I sent you a water Uber. I sent you a friend. I sent you a stranger. I sent you a bird. I even sent butterflies flying this opposite way so you can follow them because you never seen that before, but you still went back right? And I've been guilty of it at a point in my life as well. That's how I got elevated to this point, y'all. So I'm really telling you guys, like, I know it's not always easy. Sometimes we do drop the ball. Sometimes we forget, but I'm just reminding you, these situations are to make you, not to break you, all right? It's to remind you, to sharpen you, to prepare you for the next level, because it's always going to be another test, always going to be another testimony, right? So, Let's go ahead and tap in a little bit deeper to find out what's going on here. Somebody definitely could have been dealing with a player, all right, with this side piece energy, a mistress. Somebody could have found out that somebody was flirting with others and having these secret hookups and rendezvous, and you definitely could be seeing 1111. If you're seeing 1111, put it in the comments. Tell me what number of synchronicities you're seeing that indicates this huge change that has happened in your life, all right? 1111 11 is the divine letting you know that there's going to be a new beginning very soon. Some things are going to change in your life and it's a change for the better. All right. This is talking about new beginnings, fresh energy, a fresh start. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Let's see what the tarot wants to tell you today about this energy. All right. What tarot cards are we going to use today, y'all? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What are we using? Okay. And I'm getting to go a little bit deeper before we get into the tarot. I'm getting to go a little bit deeper. So I will. I'll go a little bit deeper. Let's go a little bit deeper in this situation, um, in this energy with this person. Let's see what else is here for my Virgo. So let's see. What else is going on with this energy for Virgo? So we see a coffee date. Laying on your inner circle at this time. Talk to somebody to find out if this is really a good idea if you're not really sure. And then you don't have to do what somebody else wants you to do or suggest. It's just you opening your mind to other options and other possibilities, right? Um, let's see. Time apart, harshness cutting off, erratic decisions. You definitely walked away from something or somebody walked away from you. I feel like this is you needing to separate yourself from somebody so you can get the clarity you need because there's things happening in your face. This person is, is hiding things in plain sight and it's because of your desire. That's what blocked it. That's why you couldn't see it. Yeah, right now you and somebody have some type of love-hate relationship going on. It's like you love each other to pieces, but you hate the way things are going between you. You hate the way somebody is treating you, not understanding you, not being empathetic, not being compassionate enough. You just don't like being an option. You want to be somebody's choice and you want to feel comfortable and confident. And this is something that this person lacks. This is something that they didn't give you. Show me support and coffee date. So somebody could want to see you. We're going to clarify this, of course. Wow. Shocking news. Definitely found out something. And lean on your inner circle at this time is here. We're going to find out what the shocking news is. We're going to clarify this. Mary came out. So somebody could have definitely found out that somebody was married. Um, somebody that you reached out to could have gotten married. All right. Somebody has this love type, hate type of energy toward you for walking away. They didn't expect it to be so hard to get over you, but they have. Somebody could have secretly got married and you didn't know. This is somebody that you could still have feelings for. All right, but we have married here, some type of shocking news. 
Somebody could be married and you have a love-hate relationship with your partner. You found, after you found out what they did, you called a separation. So somebody is separated right now. All right. You haven't fully closed this cycle. You haven't fully cut the cord, but you definitely are stepping back, talking to people that are close to you, trying to figure out what to do after you found out this energy or this information about this person. Now that this secret is out, you really don't know how to feel. You know, your instinct is cut them off immediately. And I feel like you separated yourself from this person right away. But there are some things that need to be discussed, right? You could have even found out that somebody was on the DL. You could have found out that somebody was unsure of their sexuality. They could be keeping secrets. Somebody could definitely be bisexual. You could have found that out. Whatever their secret is. Somebody's married. Somebody could be bisexual. All right. Somebody you're looking at like a jackass. For lying. For hiding things. For keeping secrets. Or whatever the case may be. But this is somebody that you feel doesn't learn from their mistakes. This is somebody that you feel could have handled things differently. They could have been honest. But somebody is pretending, putting on a front, and you could have figured it out. Um, Spirit wants me to let you know that this person is going through karma. There's a karmic lesson for them to learn in all of this. This person is still learning about themselves. And also, um, they're still having to pay karmic debt, right? For some of the choices that they've made, somebody needs to learn. To be honest, somebody needs to learn to, and it could have something to do with marriage, all right? Something to do with marriage here, all right? But you're looking at somebody like a jackass because they could have took another approach. They could have did something different. If somebody was, could be drinking a lot or using drugs or popping pills or whatever this is to cope with the stress, all right? But there's something here where somebody is hiding this. All right, this is something that's hidden from you. Karmic ties. So this person could still have karmic ties with somebody. This person could be missing somebody or this is, oh, y'all, this energy is just thick and heavy. All right, because I feel like whoever this is has been doing this for a while. Um, this is something that you don't know. Somebody could definitely have a sex addiction that they didn't tell you about. And this person could have definitely been acting on this for a while behind your back. All right. When you found this out or when you find this out, you're going to immediately distance yourself from this person. But this is a huge secret. This is something that I feel like you even prayed against this. Like, I feel like this is something like your worst nightmare. You did not want this to be. But you're going to be shocked. And it says once you find this out. Lean on your inner circle for support um, and radical acceptance. Accept that everything happens for a reason, all right? Just because this is something that you're involved in doesn't mean that it was definitely something directed toward you. Everybody has their lessons to learn at different times. And I feel like this is just what has been happening in this person's life, okay? This is something that they need to work out with the divine. I see you walking away. I see you say feeling like things are ruined, feeling sad, feeling in despair, very unhappy about how things played out, okay? Somebody could feel like they're sad. They spilled out the cups. Um, they made a lot of mistakes. Something's happening here. And it definitely could be you feeling sad about a marriage. Now you have to move forward or about a relationship. Somebody's realizing that this relationship is not going to work, all right? Or somebody's sad because they walked away from somebody that they wanted to marry. Somebody could have loved somebody a lot. And now they're looking onto the horizons to see what else is out there. This is a big lesson for someone that they had to learn. Um, I feel like because they walked away, and they could this could be somebody that walked away from their faith. This could be somebody who was very spiritually strong. And this person had some type of spiritual calling over their life, but they strayed away. All right. And this is somebody who is finding the courage to keep going, to move forward. Even though they strayed, even though they feel like they spilled the cups out or something is ruined now, somebody here is finding the confidence to look toward the future and not be stuck in the past. And this is what's most important. But somebody is very sad right now because they're finding out these things about their partner. Um, and this could be common law marriage. This could be somebody that you call your husband or your wife, but you're finding this out and it's shocking. All right. Show me more. Somebody's going like they you found out about some type of secret hookup 
for some type of secret meeting. Yeah, for sex. Somebody was meeting somebody for sex and you found out or you will find out that somebody is, they, they still, like, they have this issue, right? And they have these karmic ties and I see the tower. So something is going to come crashing down, a foundation built on lies, all right? Somebody's going to find out the truth and this is going to shock you, all right? Also, somebody could have found out that somebody is sick with the Four of Swords. Somebody could also be healing from an addiction, sexual addiction, um, being on the down low. Somebody could be healing from um, just a lot of toxic ties and negative energy, the devil, the devil energy looming over them, causing this tower to fall. So somebody is healing from this energy, all right? Somebody knows that they messed up okay they do they know that they messed up they're trying to get right with the most high i see them trying to find their way back to their faith with the three of wands and the hierophant um i see also that you virgo may be walking away from this marriage because you feel like it was all a lie you feel like this person is toxic you feel like they're a liar and you feel like they're weak they didn't they didn't hold up their end of the bargain and not only that, they didn't give you a chance to help them. They didn't give you a chance to meet them halfway. And somebody is just trying to heal from all of this, okay? So let's see. Show me bisexual, I'm sure. Standing their ground. Somebody could be hiding this or standing true to what they believe. Somebody could feel like they can be with who they want. Or they feel like people can be with who they want. Somebody is standing firm on some type of... It's like they have more than one relationship where these people are the same. Bisexual or on the DL. And this person is willing to protect that. They have a lot of karmic ties and they're willing to protect that. Or they were at one point in time. But you're seeing this as... I feel like, Virgo, you're just seeing it like... I just got caught up in a whirlwind, right? You're just real feeling like you got caught up in a whirlwind. You didn't know that all of this was going on. Yeah, we got the Queen of Wands energy here. And this could be a female going through this. Possibly. Show me. Oh, Virgo, this could be you. Or somebody is dealing with a fire sign and realizing that it's some type of missed opportunity here. Um, the Queen of Wands energy is a go-getter. This is somebody who doesn't take no for an answer. Somebody could definitely be in this feminine energy, um, possibly. Show me one more on the Queen of Wands. King of Swords, okay? So, let's see. One on the Seven of Wands. Marriage. Show me one on the devil. Communication. So with the tower and the devil, communication, a shocking news. Some type of communication is going to come out. You're going to find out about this. This reading could be confirmation that you need it. Somebody here already felt this. This reading just went in a whole different way. Like I didn't even see this coming myself, y'all. Like, I really did. And I just saw that it was something that you needed to separate from. I saw that it was some type of love-hate relationship. And it was a commitment here. Um, somebody just is sad. They had to walk away from a relationship. Um, or they will be walking away from a relationship. Um, show me the communication. The world. Yeah. So somebody is cutting a tie. Somebody is deciding to really end this for good. Um, somebody is, wow, with the seven of cups. Somebody, okay, so not like this addiction. Like somebody could be, ooh, somebody could be dealing with a cancer. Somebody definitely could be dealing with a cancer judgment so somebody doesn't want to be judged here somebody could be afraid of judgment they don't want to be judged they don't want to be looked at wrongly but somebody is keeping this a secret they don't want to come out they don't want to be judged 
somebody has been having this secret for a while, Virgo, and it looks like you're just finding out about it, right? Um, with the lover's energy, um, you're finding out about this situation. So you're finding yourself on the other end of the stick. You're thinking that this was your healthy relationship that was thriving in the whole time. There, you were in a lover situation with somebody who really was already in a relationship with somebody else behind the scenes. So you finding this out is going to be a huge shock for you. For somebody, you have no idea. It's like you knew that there was some type of feminine energy, but you didn't think that it was going to be that. You thought that this person was just raised by women or in touch with their masculine, um, their feminine side for um, some of you guys, it's a male. Some of you guys, it's a female. But either way, you found out that this person sees the same sex. And this was a shocker. Spirit is telling you to remember that everything happens for a reason. This person is going through their own karmic lessons. They're going through their own life cycle. And it's not personally directed to you. This person couldn't help the situations that's happened to them. And now they're doing what it takes to move through this energy. And there's no guarantee that they're going to stay this way. But right now it's between them and God for them to deal with their own situation. I see this person finding their way back to their faith and sobriety and a better life. And I also see this person, they're going to be going through hell a little bit once you walk away from them. But it's all a part of their journey. This was deep, y'all. I'm going to end it right here. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. You can book your reading if you feel like you resonate with this energy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, my lovies.